We are joined now by Tammy Colon. She's in studio with us. And uh, this is Alcohol Awareness Month. And a lot of people really don't stop and think about alcohol being a drug of choice. Uh, but it is. Absolutely. It's the number one drug of choice in the United States. So um, it's also killing more people in the United States than any other drug. It's just difficult to see because it takes a little longer than some other substances that we're more familiar with. And there's a lot of dangers to drinking alcohol that we sometimes don't think about. So let us know what those are. Well, I mean, there's physical dangers, right? We know there's correlations between cancer with women who have uh, used alcohol. We also know there's an increased risk in suicides, particularly among men when they're using alcohol. Uh, we know there's an increase in behaviors uh, such as domestic violence, sexual violence. All of those things um, have a strong relationship to consumption of alcohol. And for teens, it's one of the easiest things to get their hands on. It is. And what's interesting about teens is, um, particularly in our community, we've, we've surveyed a lot of youth and we've surveyed them across the state of Ohio. And our youth here in our Tri-County area, about 66% uh, of them are saying that they don't believe their parents would support them using alcohol. But across the state of Ohio, 77% of youth are saying they don't believe their parents would support. Why that's important is because in our area, between 15 and 16, 35% of youth are engaging in alcohol in our area and 17 across the state of Ohio. So we know that parents have a significant impact on the behaviors and the decisions their youth make. And so we really need to do a better job at explaining to them how it's dangerous for them in their underdeveloped mind and body and, um, and really encourage them not to use until they're of age. Now, something I found interesting, and I highlighted this on the informational piece that you gave me, is the fact that we correlate binge drinking with those of college age or even late high schoolers, but really it's something that adults are taking part in. Yeah, um, the definition of binge drinking is a certain amount of alcohol used in a certain period of time. And considering in our country, it's acceptable to drink on the weekend or to drink in an after work event. Um, a lot of us would meet that definition for sure. I think what we have to most be concerned about is, um, is it interfering in our ability to function? Are we doing things when we're using that we would not do when we're not using? And are others concerned about us? Because those, those are flags. I noticed you have an iMind program coming up. Tell us more about that. Yeah, so we actually started the iMind program two school years ago. Um, as a result of the schools testing more and recognizing that students are violating their drug, alcohol, and tobacco, uh, school policy. We don't want kids to be removed from pro-social activities. We want them to be able to stay in school. And so as an alternative, we've offered this course that schools are referring their youth to and allowing them to either return to school earlier or return to their activities sooner. All right, Tammy, good information to share with us on this being Alcohol Awareness Month. Thank you. And we will be back with health right after this.